With each new installment, the MCU expand as new characters are introduced. Juggernaut can easily break through the door based on his appearances in other movies and his unfinished business. Let's take a look at what's going on. Kane Marco, also known as the Juggernaut, has been one of the mutant team's deadliest adversaries ever since his appearance in X-Men issue number 12. Juggernaut, the dark god, Cytorax Avatar, has a well-deserved reputation as one of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe because he can destroy entire cities by simply running through them. It's simple to assume that Juggernaut is just a mutant given his relationship with Charles Xavier, the man who founded the X-Men. After all, Stan Lee created the concept of mutant powers as a quick way to avoid writing lengthy origin tales to explain so many different powers. But even before Juggernaut made his first appearance in X-Men issue number 12, Lee and Jack Kirby described the Juggernaut's enigmatic origins. Kane Marco entered the Lost Temple while serving with his stepbrother in the Korean War and found the Crimson Gem of Cytorak. Although the temple collapsed around him and Xavier believed he was dead, the gem endowed Marco with phenomenal power in order to serve as the avatar of the dark otherworld Cytorak. Because of this, Juggernaut was simply unaffected by many of the technologies that could be used on mutants such as sentinel tracking devices and power dampening collars. He was also massively grown to Hulk-like proportions, standing at 9.5 feet tall and weighing just less than 2 tons. Although Juggernaut seems to have limitless power, his body only serves as a conduit for Cytorak's energies. If the nearly omnipotent being chooses to cut off Juggernaut, he can weaken the power's flow to a fraction of what it once was, and Marco commonly would have to get by with insufficient amounts of power that are inferior to what he's used to. Marco suffered punishment whenever he accepted power from other beings or used that power for preservation rather than destruction because Cytorak is a jealous and focused god of destruction. Cytorak, a malevolent deity, gave Marco his strength and his title as the Juggernaut, but if Marco doesn't live up to his expectations, Cytorak has shown he's willing to give it to someone else. Colossus of the X-Men was one of these recipients and Cytorak's blessing changed the steel-skinned gentle giant into a force so potent and violent that he even couldn't recognize it himself. In a lot of ways, Colossus becoming the Juggernaut was the blessing Cytorak claimed it would be. Before we go any further, we want to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Colossus already possessed superhuman endurance, but the mystical power of Cytorak increased these qualities even more, making the X-Men's biggest puncher a more formidable opponent. Colossus's brief tenure in the role of demonstrated the Juggernaut's potential power even though Marco was ultimately able to atone for his wrongdoings and reclaim his power. Time will tell if Colossus will ever use the strength of one of the X-Men's most formidable foes on screen, but both characters are scheduled to make their MCU debuts. Because Juggernaut is an X-Men character that many fans feel was largely absent on the big screen, he makes for a pretty perfect addition to the MCU. Characters like Juggernaut and Colossus might still be around since the Marvel Cinematic Universe is bringing Deadpool back. It's reasonable to assume that Juggernaut will remain a mutant in the MCU when he eventually appears because he was a mutant in Deadpool 2 and the third X-Men movie. This perspective might be a great fit for Juggernaut's persona, a similar version of the character could still play the part of a powerful antagonist that a corrupt government force uses as a weapon in their attempt to rule the world even if the version of Deadpool 2 was a variant. With Thunderbolts on the way, it's obvious that a strategy to highlight MCU villains is already in place, and Juggernaut could contribute to that trend in Captain America New World Order. Therefore, in that scenario, can Captain America's shield stop the unstoppable Juggernaut? Fans believe that New World Order may signal Red Skull's comeback as a result of the title. Nevertheless, there was another antagonist in this tale who could appear, even though that seems unlikely given Skull's fate as revealed in Avengers Endgame. Juggernaut was one of Red Skull's primary henchmen, and even if the New World Order is no longer a Red Skull operation in the film, Marvel could always add someone like Juggernaut as a powerhouse for the group. Juggernaut was the ideal choice because Red Skull in the story knew he needed someone strong to match up with Hulk when he arrived. The powerful Absorbing Man and the mutant Mentallo were also present, so Juggernaut wasn't the only ghoul here. So what would happen if Captain America was using his fabled indestructible shield and the unstoppable Juggernaut collided with them? Who triumphs in the battle between Unstoppable and Unbreakable? Gardner Fox, the creator of the Justice League of America, knew that magic and kryptonite were the only two substances that could truly harm Superman. 
As a result, the Justice League always encountered either a villain who used magic or someone who had kryptonite on them. In a similar vein, it makes sense that since Captain America's shield is magical, it would take magic to destroy it. As a result, it's no surprise that over the years, Cap has frequently come into conflict with magical villains. There have been a few occasions of individuals physically disabling the shield though. In Avengers issue number 63, Thor strikes Captain America with a Mjolnir blow powered by the Odin force, sending him flying and denting his shield, but Cap was unharmed despite Thor literally hitting him with the Odin force. The serpent then tore Captain America's shield to pieces in Fear Itself issue number 5, at which point he had become so empowered by fear that he was stronger than even Odin. Finally, in Infinity Gauntlet issue number 4, a Thanos equipped with Infinity Gauntlet punches through the shield. Considering that a fully powered juggernaut strikes more powerfully than Thor, but probably less powerfully than the Odin Force, it's reasonable to conclude that Captain America would not be able to stop the Juggernaut. He'd go flying, but he'll survive. In particular, if Juggernaut were a member of the MCU's Thunderbolts, it would be the ideal addition to the MCU. The team, which originally consisted of villains masquerading as heroes, found new life as Marvel's Suicide Squad during Civil War. Most of the team's members ended up being ex-criminals who were apprehended by the law and assigned to hazardous missions. Over the years, there have been several iterations of this team, one of which famously featured Juggernaut. Juggernaut's time with the team, under Luke Cage's leadership, was a surprisingly emotional one as he dealt with his failed attempts at forgiveness and his inherently destructive nature. Juggernaut's brash brutality might be the ideal fit for the Thunderbolts because they are likely to have a darker tone than the other MCU characters. Juggernaut is only known as a brawny brawler and someone who can connect with children, so it would give the creators a clean slate to work with. Additionally, it would be a simple way to gradually introduce X-Men characters into the larger universe, establishing Juggernaut as a character with numerous connections to it. Additionally, given that he has a history with Deadpool, the Thunderbolts, a team he has previously served in the comics, may benefit from the Merc with a mount addition. That's why you should smash that subscribe button and notification bell, so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As opposed to the primary solemn characters like Abomination, it would also give the Thunderbolts a large physical player who maintains a sense of humor. Additionally, he would be strong enough to engage even the MCU's best fighters in a fierce battle. It could be the ideal way to introduce the Juggernaut to the MCU as a future support character who is not only connected to the X-Men but also to the Marvel Universe as a whole. See you in the next video.